Hello everybody. I'm going to show you real quickly today the 2013 Eagle Cap 1160 that is a great clearance price for us. We've sold a lot of these but we happen to have one left and so we want somebody to take advantage of that. All right, first thing we're going to look at is the bed space. It's got a standard queen bed, 19 inch television just for the bedroom, a nice deep closet space. We've left that closet open so you can see how much room there is in there. A little shelf with reading lights, the storage on the side of the bed, and did you catch that big hikey vent up there? Hopefully you're familiar with the shade that comes across so it blacks out, or you get a screen because it opens up to be a big vent. Makes it feel very open in here. You know, another thing I really like about the Eagle Caps is there's a little space right here for crawling up on the bed. And I'm only five feet tall, so it's really easy just to sit down on this flooring area or put one knee up and crawl into bed. It's not difficult at all. Really an easy entrance. Uh, let's back up a little bit, show you around the main cabin. This is the one with the big floor space. So we've got the dinette here, the facing dinette. Now, one of the things that I think this unit does really well is storage. Both of these dinette pieces have storage drawers underneath them. Always, you can never have enough deep storage drawers. Very, very comfortable cushions. And if you're not familiar with it, it has the easy setup on the dinette, where all you do is unclip it underneath, push this table down, and it goes into position to make a bed. Can you see underneath? The nice part is there's no pedestal here. So you don't have to worry about getting your feet around table legs. That is one of the great things. They call it a dream dinette. Uh, you notice it also has the granite coat tabletops and the granite coat countertops. So it makes it really a nice smooth finish that looks like stone. I can't tell you how comfortable this dinette is. They do a great job in making the seating really comfortable. Speaking of seating, let's move right around to the rear sofa because that, of course, is the highlight of this style unit. Now, this is the 1160, so it is only a uh, two slide and not a three slide like the 1165, um, but the sofa is very comfortable. I like the way it has a nice high back. Big window here, so it feels very open. A big window on the side, a elongated window there, feels very spacious very comfortable and of course I'm always big at showing everybody storage and you've got the pull out underneath here so you've got storage underneath the sofa very handy not only that you've got the storage to the side over here hanging closet with another little cabinet underneath just as you walk in the door that's where your coats can go put a flashlight on the floor all those things that you need to grab on the way out coming around to the kitchen You've got the stove with the stove cover, Oops. the oven here, microwave, cabinets above, big cabinets above, that's always nice, but then you've also got drawers underneath. I don't know about you guys, but I think drawers are the greatest. You can reach everything, you've got two big drawers underneath the stove, and then a whole bank of drawers right here, four drawers there for all the things you need to carry. A little bit of space under the counter and a nice little trash can that fits right there in case you want to keep it out of the way. Very difficult sometimes to find a great place for a trash can. Quick look at that big double sink. Notice you've got a water filter here so you get uh, filtered water from your tanks or from the hydrant, either one. A little counter space right here, that's always nice. But if you need more, you've got a flip up counter. Can't beat that. 24 inch television. Of course it comes out, can swivel around for the dinette as well. Part of the kitchen is your eight cubic foot refrigerator over there, double door dramatic. And let me put this down and we're gonna sneak into the bathroom real quick because it's got a nice size bathroom in this unit with, again, lots of storage. Pull-out cabinet here. Bed 
medicine cabinet here and more space underneath your countertop and your sink that doubles as access and a little bit of storage. Two cabinets here. So that's nice. If you can get a good photo in here, we've got the power fan here, but then we've got a nice shower. I'm going to step into it just so I can get out of the way a little bit. But you've got a lip here so the water doesn't get on the floor. And you've got a nice skylight. So obviously I'm not very tall, but there's plenty of space in this. Fold down hanger. Just all the little things that make a difference that you would want to put in after you bought a camper. So really nice setup in here. All right, let's sneak out of there. Uh, the best thing about this unit, it's about 4,800 pounds. Uh, this has an MSRP of $56,000, and we have it clearance priced under forty grand. So it's a very nice buy, very nice deal. Uh, let's take a quick peek at the outside um, and talk about some of those features like the LED lights that are outside and inside, so it's very efficient. The gel coat outside, the nice uh, graphics that they put on these Eagle Caps. They've also got great storage in the back that you've seen in the 1165 if you looked at that unit. So let's take a quick peek on the outside on this clearance unit. Okay, in reviewing the outside of this Eagle Cap, we're going to first take a look at the controls right here by the door so everything's very convenient. Um, you've got some light switches here, of course your water heater. This is all going to be your tank monitoring. It does have the Onan generator, so you've got your auto start here and a power awning. So you simply push the button, the patio awning goes out. You push the button, the patio awning goes in. This unit also has uh, the slide out cover awnings. Those are on both of the slide outs. Uh, in, of course, included all these options in the price. Uh, so they don't, they go out with the slide out, so you don't need any controls. This is just the patio awning. Uh, I like the big heavy duty swing out handle with a nice pad on it and the four steps so you get good entry here. Now on this side, where you've got the power awning, you've got electrical outlets, your water hookup, of course your water heater, outside shower here, your city connection, and electric jacks with swing out brackets to fit on your dually. It does work best on a dually, that's what this camper is made for. Uh, take a peek underneath if you can. This one does have the diamond plate risers that protect the sides of the truck camper underneath. Very nice feature that they offer. If we can come around the front here, we've got compart access compartments up front. Oops, did you get that? And battery compartments here. Oops, your battery compartments aren't here, they're on the side. My apologies. But you've got access to your tanks, your water heater, uh, your drains, low point drains, different things like that that are available right up here in the... All right, now we're at the back of this Eagle Cap 1160. And I want to show you the two dual 30 pound propane tanks. And then you've also got the connection underneath that will hook up to all your patio outlets. You can also see the sewer hose holder underneath. And then over here, the huge compartment for storage. You've got your low point drains right here. This actually dumps the black and the gray tank. They really do a, a particularly nice job back here with the rubber mat. You've got a battery disconnect. Um, a way to hook up your remote right here on your electric jacks. All your wiring is accessible, but instead of putting it on the side where it's going to get in trouble or get hooked on some gear, they put it on the ceiling. Can you see the light in there? We've got a light that comes on so that you've got nice light in here. You can see what you've stored. All your venting, this is actually your furnace ducts. It is a four season camper. They do, uh, I believe it's R11 on the roof. Nope, nope, nope. Um, uh, my memory's failing me, but okay, we'll cut that part out too. Um, w one thing I like about this compartment is that you can actually see the venting here and the intake on the furnace. 
It is a four season camper and they have great insulation. This is going to be insulated in all of your tanks, insulated in your compartments, insulated roof, walls, floor. Great in, if you're in really cold weather. Let's back up just a little bit, peek around the other side, review what's there. Again, LED lights everywhere. This is going to be your furnace outlet. In here you've got your batteries and this is where your generator compartment is. Uh, your connection here for your uh, electrical plug. And then of course this is your dinette slide out with, I don't know if we can show you this here, but it's got a little bit of storage on the outside as well. And we've got two of these compartments on your dinette. So lots of outside storage on this. Now you probably have a few questions that I didn't answer. Give us a call here at Princess Craft. We'd be glad to tell you all about this 1160 unit. It, like I said, it is a great deal. If this is what you're looking for, give us a call and let us tell you about it. Thanks so much for watching.